Good morning, folks. We've got several great articles for you today. SDO still isn't as accessible as it should be, but we've got the backups and stills to handle space weather as we watch the last 24 hours of our star in 171 angstroms from Proba 2 Swap. No significant solar flares and the solar wind at Earth has calmed slightly, along with geomagnetic conditions, but we did see a gorgeous plasma eruption of a filament incoming on the south with plasma both ejecting and streaming back to the surface. While the solar wind has calmed slightly, we expect a stronger intensification later this week as the stream from the coronal hole arrives. Expect at least KP5 or 6 when it impacts Earth's magnetic field. Let's take a quick look at Mauna Loa at Hawaii with fire detection mapping from satellites. The volcano erupted as we were doing the morning news yesterday, effusive eruption thankfully, and hopefully it stays that way as opposed to explosive eruptive activity. Some of you have seen this making its way around the net, and I'll admit it was a bit challenging to confirm via satellite imagery, but we've done that now and can say yes, there is a pretty exceptional snow coverage in the northern hemisphere at the moment. Increases the chances for a cold start to the season. New estimates suggest the previous thermospheric density enhancements that took out the Starlink satellites in February during a solar storm, which were 40 to 50 percent, were a low estimate by a long way. Now that was already a shocking number given the weakness of the geomagnetic storm, but now they're saying it was a 150% density enhancement. Simply impossible if Earth's magnetic field is doing its job. Simply impossible. Of course, we know the magnetic field is not doing its job to past extents during the ongoing geomagnetic excursion. Side note, when they continue to recognize the cosmic radiation risk to aircraft and individuals on them, during inclement space weather, they usually don't factor in the weakening of Earth's magnetic field, which makes their projections and calculations on the sunny side of reality, if I may. Excellent story here showing that not only volcanic and solar forcing has been the controller of temperatures in the recent past, but that the Holocene maximum temperature six to 8,000 years ago, right before the 6,000 years ago event, were well higher than they are today. Five of the seven records show exactly that, and one of the two that don't is a model rather than observations. Folks, our fleece suspicious observers jackets are in. Is it just me or is Kat, my wife, and our fearless leader getting prettier as time goes on? Don't forget to get your tickets, Texas. We'll be in Houston this weekend and hope to see you out there. Link to the tickets is below the video in the description box, as well as to our books, jackets, shirts, playlists, one-on-one -on -one calls, and more. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.